So in the Halloween update, one of the very unexpected changes is that we now have completely refund weapons that allow us to do all kinds of stuff that was previously impossible. But most notably, between all of these new weapons, we have the brand new hand-mounted cannon. Like, this is by far the weapon that has seen the biggest change. Actually, maybe rivaled by this one. But this one is definitely by far the coolest because, guys, we can now instantaneously fire cannonballs. Now, one of the ideas I've seen floating around is to turn this thing into, like, a machine gun. Like, one, one of those that spins around and stuff. But I've seen a couple people kind of working on it. But there's one thing that none of them have been able to do yet. None of them have been able to actually rapid fire this cannon yet. But I think that I might just be the first person to actually do it. Yes, guys. Just, like, literally go with cannonballs. It's going to be literally insane. All right, guys, so first things first, we need to grab ourselves a hand-mounted cannon. I mean, obviously, we need it to make this thing rapid fire. We need to have one, okay? Now, guys, what I'm thinking is that the way that Chill Thor has pretty much created this thing, okay? Here, I want you to look at this. Here, I place a regular cannon. Here, I have my hand cannon. Wait, why didn't I grab it? Okay, there it is. My hand cannon, okay? And I'm going to pretty much select that cannon right there, and I'm going to grab my hand cannon. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot these at the exact same time. Boop! As you guys can see, they pretty much shot perfectly at the exact same time. But guys, more importantly, look at the fuse, okay? On, and a couple seconds later, my hand cannon is also back on. These two cannons right here are nowadays pretty much one and the same, okay? So what I'm thinking to myself, if I can somehow manage to glitch a couple thousand cannons into my hand cannon, what you will, what you should see happen is something that might be quite reminiscent of what you'll see right here. Something a little something like this this but then imagine it all comes out of the same thing it's gonna be insane <laughs> all right guys now as you guys saw in the last video um i built myself a working pistol and in that pistol uh i did a pretty cool new trick that uh, people have been discovering i'm not the first guy to discover this i'm not trying to claim that i am okay but pretty much what you have right here is you have these cannons that when i click this lever there's a clock going that pretty much selects one cannon at a time so that way you can pretty much indefinitely keep firing this pistol okay now guys we're gonna do something kind of similar to this but i have a very very clever idea on how I can mount the cannons to my body. So yeah, guys, in the past, it would have actually been really, really difficult to mount a cannon to your hand, okay? That is definitely not something that would be considered like, quote unquote, easy. But I think that it's now possible to do this pretty easily, okay? And let me show you why this is. Let's see to which hand the cannon gets attached to me, okay? Let's just do a quick little test right here, okay? I grab one of these and it's on my right hand. As you guys can see, pretty much it is stuck to my right hand, as you guys can see like that. So what I can do is I can do a little little something like this. Delete. This is, by the way, guys, an armor equipping station, but for giants, okay? So what I can do is I can become a giant. Whoosh, sit down right here. And this is just a test, guys. I'm going to set up a custom station for this, but just have a look at this. What I can now very easily do, which was previously like actually really hard is just attach pretty much whatever the heck it is I want to my to my hand. All right, guys, so here we have a little bit of a test. Let's see. I place a bunch of cannons right there. And then what I can do is I can attach these to my body using a butter block. Come on, there. Perfect. All right, guys, let's see how this goes. <laughs> okay, I'm currently attached to the entire platform. Get out of here. All right, guys, so yeah, I just got rid of everything except the hand-mounted bloody cannon. And I... <laughs> Oh boy, that is starting to look pretty good. Now guys, obviously, currently we're still giants, but what you can actually do is you can place yourself a candy right there, uh, that has everything set to, to one. And if I'm not mistaken, we should just become tiny again. There we go. And we can still use this. <laughs> Yeah. Now, guys, I didn't really position this perfectly. I can do a lot better. But as a proof of concept, dude, what? Okay, well, uh, one of the things is that it is a little bit weird when you're walking around with it. Because, yeah, it's, it's kind of touching the floor a little bit. But, hey, that's fine. All right, guys, so there you go. And that should have attached to everything. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to unattach it from the butter block. I want to unlink those. And pretty much, guys, if I'm not mistaken, if I flick this lever now. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, baby. That's more looking like it. Three, two, one. That's fine. Oh my god! Oh my god! Um, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was kind of insane. <laughs> we... <laughs> Yeah. Every single cannon just exploded. Okay, so we're gonna have to figure out some other stuff, but there is a lot of potential right here, man. This is this is crazy. <laughs> All 
All right, guys, so let's start off now by making it an actual proper, like, setup station. So, okay, wait, need to turn on anchor mode because we need these blocks to freaking float. <laughs> Dude, this is going to be so ridiculously insane. It's going to be amazing. All right, so here we are. What we're going to do is we're going to place ourselves a bit of a wall right here. Just a little something like that. And guys, the reason as to why I'm doing this is because I'm going to place a chair on here. Something like so. Oh, wait, no, and uh, the chair needs to face that way. Perfect. All right, we need a bunch of, bunch of giant candy. Here, eat one of those, and let's see what will happen. If I now sit in this chair, I kind of need this to be perfectly aligned. And I think this is by far going to be my best shot. I can probably perfectly fit this right there by kind of maneuvering this block around. Okay, let's set this to skill zero. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, baby. We got to get the right angle here. And I actually don't think the angle matters all that much. Okay, guys, look at that. Okay, there it is. That is that right there. That's my hand cannon. Okay, needs to go way more to the left. Okay. All right, guys, now look at that. Oh, that is... <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, I need to move it a little bit to the right. Dude, that quite literally is like perfect. <laughs> yeah, baby, there it is. Just a little bit more. There it is, guys. That right there is perfection. So what I'm going to do right now is going to be fun. <laughs> All right, there it is. Perfect. Okay, delete that. So yeah, guys, now we have a block for reference on where we need to position uh, the cannons. Okay, so I'm going to quickly save this. Oh my God, this is, this is going to be so ridiculous. <laughs> All right, back to normal. <sighs> Okay, so that right there is the position of the block. Okay, so guys, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to make a, a, a pretty much a system that allows me to place a bunch of cannons that are constantly getting activated in one spot because, guys, I couldn't actually do the mechanics if I didn't build something like, like this because otherwise, what would happen? Uh, Pretty much like, yeah, if I would right now just start spamming a bunch of cannons in here, like, yes, we'd have a bunch of cannons in one place, but I can't actually do any mechanics, okay? I need to be able to do the mechanics. So for that reason, I'm going to have to make a bit of a setup station because it's going to be pretty easy, and I'm going to, you know, carry you guys along through it. It's going to be pretty easy to figure out, okay? So, what we're going to do right now? Very nice and easy. Boom, 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 boom. Bunch of pistons. I have one, five pistons here. Okay, select all the pistons and then anchor them. Nice. So, yeah, guys, once you have everything like this, what we're going to do is going to be very easy. What we're going to do, we're going to grab ourselves a block right there, delete the previous piston, place another block, delete the previous piston, and we're going to pretty much make our way down. Make sure to always place your blocks on, like, the gray piston head, okay? Just like so. And that is that right there. Very nice and very easy easy okay okay now this this bottom block right here is just for reference so we don't actually need to use much of that what we're gonna do is we're gonna go around like this and we're gonna place pistons on each of these blocks just like this and we're pretty much gonna place these uh blocks or these pistons right here on every single block all the way around like this there it is baby okay now activate everything and i think i can just do that with a lever <laughs> right yeah that should be fine yeah that's what we want to see now i actually don't need everything to quite expand that far out so what i can do right now is i can just select all and set the piston length to like a three <laughs> actually maybe maybe set a little bit more maybe like a five just give ourselves a little bit more room to work with so there every piston is now set to five all right guys then all we have left to do is going to be very nice and easy we're going to just select every single one of these uh or sorry we're going to just pretty much place a anchored block on the end of every single one of these things boom just like so oh wait actually for, forgot one oops there it is delete all the middle blocks there you go okay guys, what we need to do is going to be a little bit meticulous but it's going to be all right we're just pretty much going to select every single one of these pistons and we're going to unanchor them there you go and then we're going to flick the lever and then we can select all and anchor everything there you you go baby perfect let's go okay wait i anchored my wings <laughs> Okay, now quickly gonna save everything here and uh, delete the lever. And this right here, guys, is the foundation of everything that is nice in this world, okay? This is the foundation of what's gonna become our weapon of mass destruction. All right, guys, so what we're gonna do next up is we're gonna place blocks on the end of every single one of these, just like so. Nothing too fancy. And then, guys, what we're gonna do is on the top one, we're gonna place five pistons on the bottom right here. So one, two, three, four, five, just like that. Make sure that in this time, they're facing downwards because otherwise it's gonna be broken, okay? Just letting you know right now. Uh, then we're going to place another block on the end right here, just like so. And then what we're going to do is we're going to place a cannon facing downwards, just like that. And we're going to do this on every single one of these. Actually, I think I might have to place it like that. I think that's the right one. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So yeah, we're going to have to do this on all four of these. And make sure that the cannons are all facing that way. <laughs> All right, guys, and what we're going to do for the next one is we're going to, for this one, place four pistons facing downward. So we're going to go uh, four, and then this layer is going to be three, this layer is going to be two, and this layer is going to be one. So pretty much every single layer, we're taking out one piston from the equation, okay? So we're going to do that for all of these, and then I'll be right back. All right, guys, there it is. That is pretty much all of the cannons put in place. Now, this right here isn't even looking anything like that special or that crazy. Now, guys, this is where things are going to start getting insane. What I'm going to do is <laughs> place myself a lever... How am I going to do this? Actually, yeah, I'm going to place myself a lever right 
here. Now, guys, one of the things I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to unlink every cannon from that lever. So, uh, yeah, what I have to do real quick is going to be kind of annoying. I'm going to have to walk very far away and like that, unanchor or unlink the cannons. Because if I stand too close, I'll actually like activate the cannons. It's going to be really bad. So, yeah, just do this. All right. Un unlink all of those. Perfect. So, yeah. Now, when we click this lever, it's pretty much only going to do the uh, pistons. Save that real quick. All right. And now, guys, this is the time when things are going to start getting fun. Okay? This is when things get absolutely insane. We're going to place a timer block on the end of every single one of these right there. All right. Just like that. And guys, what we're going to do is we're going to pretty much go like this. First one right here. Select the cannon. Then next one. Select the cannon. Then next one. And we're going to pretty much go around like this. And then when you get to this one, guys, we're going to go up one. So we're going to go to that one. Cannon. And we're pretty much going to create an infinite circle of activation. <laughs> Wait, no, we can actually do this easier. Yeah, we can do this cheaper and easier, I think. Here, let me get rid of all this. Actually, there's a way easier way of doing this. <laughs> all right, guys, look at this. We're going to make this even easier. We're going to go right here. Place two of those. Actually, wait, I'll just place them right here. It makes it a little bit cleaner looking. Just like so. And what we're going to do is we're going to set both of these to delay time 0.1. 0 0.1. 0 .1. And we're going to pretty much make this an infinite loop right here by just clicking those back and forth. So when we activate one of these, it's pretty much going to go like... Okay, that's what we want to see. And then all we need to do is pretty much link this timer. What do you call it? What are they even called? This delay. We're going to link this delay to every single cannon. Okay, guys, because of all this stuff going around, it's a little bit hard to see sometimes what you're doing, but you should be all right. Just do it one at a time. And you know what? Just in case, I'm actually going to set these to not 0 0.1. I'm going to set them 0 0.25 because it actually doesn't need 0 0.1. <laughs> Okay, there you go. And then, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to pretty much link this lever to one of those. There you go. And I'm actually going to quickly save this just in case. Now, guys, this is where things are going to start getting insane. We're going to make it so that all of these cannons are actually attached to our body. <laughs> So, yeah, guys, we're pretty much going to have to attach everything here together. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, we're going to just go around like this and pretty much uh, make these end blocks all touch everything else like this so that everything is attached. All right, almost done. And, guys, there it is. So that everything is now connected. Uh, the only thing left to do is to place a single block right here and scale that all the way to the top one. There you go. So now everything is attached to this. <laughs> Everything is connected now. So with that, all we have left to do is to somehow attach this all to the player, which is going to be pretty easy. So uh, yeah, we're going to do the pretty typical way of doing this. We're going to place a cake right here. Bang. Just like so. And I think that will do actually. I'm going to scale this down. So yeah, guys, we just need to make sure that all of that stuff is attached. So as you guys can see, right now it's attached and that is good enough. Let's save this and let's try it out, baby. <laughs> Select all unaccord. All right, guys, as you guys can see, all of that stuff is now a part of me. <laughs> okay. Activate. Oh, I, oh my God. I accidentally broke one side. Okay. Well, that's easily fixable. Oh boy. Oh boy. Fire. That is insane. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. All right. Reloading everything real quick. Guys, I made one little error that I was really dumb. Uh, this block right here is currently like just straight up breaking everything. There you go. That should fix that. That is incredible. <laughs> Guys, I actually don't need these big candies. It kind of was a little bit unnecessary now that I think about it. But uh, yeah, I think this is it. <laughs> I think this is actually it. Oh, no, I didn't mean to click that. I'm an idiot. All right, guys. And there it is. This is going to be our final version. Actually, move that over to there. Boom, just like that. And yeah, guys, this right here is it. <laughs> Only thing left to do, select all, accept the chair. Actually, wait, I'm going to save before I do this. <laughs> select all, accept the chair. Everything needs to be invisible. Boom. And unanchored. It worked. I think it worked. I think it worked. It definitely worked, guys. There it is. That is our weapon of mass destruction completed. <laughs> All right, guys. Now let's equip it. And you know what? Let's absolutely annihilate some people with it. <laughs> All right. All I need to do is sit down and place a cake like so and anchor it. Yeah, guys. If I turn that cake invisible, as you guys can see, as soon as I flick that lever right there, three, two, one, boom. Oh, yeah, baby. There it is. <laughs> And as you guys can see, we can now absolutely rapid fire any, anything. That is so unnecessary. And yeah, guys, this thing is currently still attached to us. So as you guys can see, everything comes back and we can just shoot it again. It's going to just be... This is so ridiculous. All right, guys. So I got some of my friends in here and uh, I don't think they're ready. <laughs> Dude, this is going to be the most unfair fight and they don't even know it. Now, actually, guys, one of my favorite things about the new cannon is that you can kind of just use it to parkour. Look, I can just fire it and it will actually really launched me backwards. It's actually like really useful. <laughs> what crazy contraption have you made now? No, don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry about, oh my God, wait, they're actually trying to fight me. What, what does he have over there? What are you doing over there, you little, little boy? You think you can fight me? Okay, wait, actually he's coming. Ah! Oh my God. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my god, I accidentally just launched it into myself. That was not what I meant to do. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm being I'm being shot at. I'm being shot at. Okay, we gotta take out the giant. Oh crap. I keep I keep shooting it into myself. This is not good. Be careful, guys. If you click right there, it will shoot everything at yourself. <laughs> you gotta you gotta shoot like a little bit away from yourself. Uh like that. Oh boy. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! The oh that that looks really sad. Not my problem. <laughs> Only one leg is still attached. That is the most sad thing I've ever seen. No. Oh, God. Oh, it's going to hit him in the face. Oh, it just missed. Oh, my God. Three, two, one. And you're dead. Yep, he's definitely dead. Definitely died. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. I just shot him in the face. <laughs> Insane. <laughs> the amount of suffering is, 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 is quite sad. Now it's my unicycle. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's still going. Get it. Oh, my God. I just launched myself. Now, guys, you can actually strategically use this as well to maneuver yourself around the world. You want to see? Three, two, one, fly to the blue team. Oxy, I just... <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. It's coming for me. It's coming for me. Um, You know what? I don't really like this build. I shot it into myself again. Dang it. Oh, my God. Oh, he, you know what? Let's, let's go jump into his house. <laughs> oh, my God. He even has solar panels. Screw solar panels. Oh, wait. It's actually stopped working. Wait, what? Oh, no. It was just lagging. Okay, never mind. Okay, it's all good. It's all good. It's not... I thought it might have broken, but actually just start, st started lagging. Oh my god, there is an actual... Oh god. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't know if this is what I'm quite ready for. All right, guys. I said it. Me versus the giant mech. Who will win? Dude, the server is literally dying. <laughs> Oh, God. He's trying to join into the battle. I don't know if I really like that. Um, How about you take some of that? Oh, only one only one of them connected. <laughs> oh, my God. Wait, there's Yoda. Why is Yoda also coming for me? Oh, God. This is going to be actually a big a big battle. Where is, why is Yoda over there? Okay, just... Oh, God. Okay, they're so dead. <laughs> oh, my God. I just blew out their core. Okay, they are trying to kill me now. They are there. They're, they're, they thought I, I might have been, like, you know, easy to kill at first. They have definitely learned that I am... Def oh my god, they're oh uh, hey cannons, can you please reload real quick? <laughs> oh uh yep, that is that. <sighs> they decided to just blast me out of the stratosphere. <laughs> oh, they forgot they had dynamite in the sword. Oh, that's probably why I got nuked! <laughs> Alright, guys, but with that, we're gonna be ending off today's video. Because if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. We are on our way to 1 million subscribers, which is like gonna be literally insane. You know what? I'll say it for a million subs, build a boat, got talent too. That's what we're waiting for. Everything is ready to go. I'm just waiting to reach a million subs. I think it would be the perfect milestone. If you guys wanna see it, let me know. I'll see you on the next one, boys. Peace out, everyone, and bye bye.